We're here at Stony Brook Medicine to celebrate the contributions of Dr. Paul Lauterbur, who many, many years ago invented the nuclear magnetic resonance, or now known as magnetic resonance imaging. The IEEE, the Electrical Engineering Society, is providing a plaque commemorating the invention of MRI here at Stony Brook University, and that's what we're celebrating today. Paul Lauterbur's pioneering work at Stony Brook University truly changed the course of modern medicine and the trajectory of Stony Brook University. Few people stopped to consider how MRI technology came into existence, but at Stony Brook University, we know the story very well. Millions of lives have been saved thanks to this groundbreaking technology. He wanted to encourage future scientists, and he was willing to stand up at a podium in front of a whole crowd of people looking serious in a suit to talk about science in a way that would encourage people. And in his mind, future scientists was anybody. He was curious, and he was brave, and he wanted to just keep exploring. At one of my dad's memorial symposiums, a well-known Nobel laureate told me that Conservatively, 20% of all scientific research being conducted in the world today could not have happened without my dad. In recognition of Paul Lauterbur's contributions to Stony Brook University, we are pleased also to announce tonight the naming of the roadway leading to this beautiful new medical and research translation facility as Lauterbur Drive and bestow you with a commemorative road sign marking this occasion. Dad wanted to instill curiosity and the drive to broaden scientific understanding, but not just scientific understanding, but the possibilities of scientific understanding. A milestone acknowledged is a legacy. So thank you again to the Lauterbur family for being here tonight. The symbolic recognition will help generations remember the everlasting contributions of your family has made to Stony Brook University. Thank you.